Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Shabtur Shibanerji. I'm the fifth generation homeopath in my family. Those who have had the opportunity to see my video on cough sounds, I'm sure you have enjoyed it. And I do also have a YouTube channel which you can have a look and enjoy the videos on the homeopathy which I have learned, which I've inherited over the last five generations. Now, when I shared with you the cough sounds, I shared with you how you can hear and diagnose and come to a prescription just on the basis of the sounds which I have learned as an ancestral tip. Today, my friends, I am going to share with you on the very interesting aspect of homeopathy, where you can have a look, where you can hear and you can understand and prescribe on the patients who are suffering in this world from stammering. Wherever in the world I have gone, be it Europe, be it America or in Australia or our Asia, in every continent you will find people who are suffering or who are traumatized from bad effects from stammering. If you think for stammering, obviously speech therapy is an important part, but homeopathy has its role to help and decrease the suffering or decrease the effects which have on these people or with the toll which takes on these people in their day to day life. When I, what I am going to share with you today is different stammerings and different types of stammerings in homeopathy and how there are different medicines which can cover those peculiar aspects. Also, I will be sharing with you certain speech defects or certain speech disabilities which homeopathy again can help with. When we come to stammering, stammering is a condition where if you think miasmatically there is psychosodic features because there is a lot of incoordination as there is also a pretty a good amount of weakness as well in the system. When we start with stammering, my friends, I am going to share with you and I am going to try to make you understand how you can hear the patient, how you can look at his mannerisms and you can come up with a prescription for stammering. So, here is my first one. This is your Mr. Stramonium. In Stramonium, what you have is they really exert themselves quite a lot when they are trying to speak. So, if you think of Mr. Stramonium, he is telling you your name. So, he will do like this. Ma, ah, 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 M is Toshi. So, what you had a look? There is a lot amount of exertion in order to speak. He often distorts his face even in trying to speak and utter the word. And it is almost that kind of distortion which makes his audience laugh. So, my name is Shaptoshi. So, you know that kind of distortion you will get with Stramonium. And why is that? If you think for Stramonium, one of the etiologies for Stramonium is the history of violent fear and fright. So, when you think of violent fear and fright in Stramonium and you look at the reaction, the reaction is stammering. And the stammering in that effect of stammering, there is also that violence which is reflected that when in his attempt to speak, he distorts the face, he makes a lot of effort to speak, making his audience laugh. So, that is my first one, stammering in Stramonium, where you can look at his distortion, where you can look at his exertion and you can come up with a prescription. My second one, my friends, is Mr. Spigelia. If you think of Mr. Spigelia, what he does with stammering? My name is Shaptoshi. My name is Shaptoshi. So, what is that? In Mr. Spigelia, he repeats the first syllable three or four times. So, he, when he is saying my, my, he is repeating the first syllable three or four times. And then when he starts to speak, the rest recommences, the rest commences very smoothly. So, in Spigelia, you have the initial stammering, but when they start speaking, they get over it and they can continue well. And you know, my friend, Spigelia is a medicine for worms. So, think of those wormy children with stammering who have also always stutter at the beginning of the sentence. So, my name is Shaptorshi, is your Mr. Spigelia. When we come to a third medicine, my friends, for stammering, it is another interesting one. A normal boy or a normal man will say the sun is shining bright. So, if you think of all the words, the sun is shining bright. Now, when you think about Mr. Lachesis or Mrs. Lachesis, Lachesis always stutters with S, B, T and W. S for sugar, B for blood, 
T and W. These are the words where Lake, these are the letters where Lachesis like stutters. So you think of the sun is shining bright. What will be told by Lachesis? The, 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 the sun is shining bright. So always he is stuttering with S, he is stuttering with B, he is stuttering with T and W. So when he is saying the, 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 the sun is shining bright. So those are the letters with which Lachesis stutters the most S, B, T and W. Now when you think of our next medicine, our next medicine is a very interesting medicine or I will say two medicines who have what we call as lisping. Lisping is actually not stuttering but when people lisp that means the words which should be spelled as S or pronounced as S, they pronounce as T and W, uh, T and H. So how is that? So again, if you think of the word, the sun is shining bright. This is your Mr. Nagswamika and Natrum Karp. Nagswamika and Natrum Karp. And what will they do? The thun is thining bright. So when we will say the sun, the thun. So, S is pronounced as TH, is, they will say as id, thining. So, shining is spelled as thining, right. So, in case of Nagswamik and Natrum Carb, you have what we call as lisping. And that is another very interesting area. Obviously, it cannot be completely helped, but homeopathy can help. My reference for that is nurse repertory as well as Kent repertory. You will find about lisping. My friends, my next one is another very, very interesting medicine. We often tend to misunderstand or think of euphrasia as a medicine only for acute cold and acute conjunctivitis. But my friends, euphrasia is a wonderful medicine for stammering. And when you think of euphrasia, what you have in euphrasia is, my name is Shabdoshi, that should be the normal way of speaking. Mr. Euphrasia, what will he do? My name is, name is, my name is Shabdoshi, my name is my name is Shaptoshi. So what is that? When he is speaking, he recommences many times. So he says one or two words and then he again comes back to the starting word. And after he has finished speaking, he again says the same sentence again. So my name is, his name is, is, is my name is, is Shaptoshi, is Shaptoshi, my name is Shaptoshi. So he repeats a few words many times, but when he is finished, he again goes back to the same sentence. He starts again and that you have with euphrasia as well. And you know these are very peculiar stammering features which you can diagnose through just hearing the patient or in their mannerisms when they are trying to speak. My next one my friends is another very interesting medicine which we call a Sikuta Virosa. And how does Sikuta behave or how does Sikuta speak? If you think of Sikuta Virosa my friends. You know it's a medicine for spinal concussion, it's a medicine for head injury. And as a consequence of head injury in Sikuta, all the muscles are contracted. All the muscles are in a state of spasm. Now when you look at Sikuta's stammering as well, there is a spasmodic feature in that as well. So again, my name is Shaptoshi, is how you should speak. And when Mr. Sikuta starts to speak, my, na my name is Shaptoshi. Or my name is Shaptoshi. What happens? When he is trying to speak, the initial part of the sentence is fine. My name is, is fine. But when he comes to the last part of the sentence, he suddenly is seized to move his head backwards. So there is a spasm which is almost pulling his head backwards. And in that effort to try to speak, there is a spasm which is pulling his head backwards. So my name is Shaptoshi. And what happens ultimately? The last part of the sentence collapses. He cannot speak the last part of the sentence very clearly. And sometimes it cannot be heard even by the others in the room. So the initial starting of the speech is fine. But towards the end, there is a sudden pulling of the head backward, jerking of the head backwards. And ultimately, when he finishes, the last part of the sentence collapses. And that you have in Sikuta Virosa. It is great if you have a history of head injury. And it is equally wonderful if there is a sudden spasm which is pulling the head backward. 
because in case of cicuta there is a lot of contraction and spasm especially along the spinal column so if we interpret that spasm and the pulling of the head backward you have that with cicuta you know my understanding of stammering cicuta and stramonium are your two medicines who have that kind of spasm while speaking in case of stramonium that spasm is reflected in the face that was the first medicine i shared with you where so that spasm that distortion is in the face Whereas in case of Sikuta, that spasm is more in the spinal column. So whenever he is trying that effort to bring out the speech, my name is Shaptoshi. So he's pulling us, jerking the head backwards. And that you have with your Sikuta Virosa. My next one, my friends, which comes very close to Sikuta, is Mr. Lycopodium. If you see in Kent Repertory, where you have stammering at the end of the sentence, you have only one medicine mentioned, and that's Mr. Lycopodium. And why is that? If you, and how is that, in fact? In case of Mr. Lycopodium, my name is Toshi. So, in case of Lycopodium, they are stuttering always at the end of the sentence. But how to differentiate with Sikuta? In Sikuta, you have the spasm, which pulls the head backward. But in case of Lycopodium, there is no spasm at all. So, my name is Toshi. So, there is always stammering at the end of the sentence for Lycopodium. If you think of Mr. Lycopodium as a personality, this is in stark contrast to him. Because Mr. Lycopodium is always a hesitant starter. He starts very poorly, but when he finishes, he ends, he gets an applause. But in case of his stammering, that is a little bit opposite. In case of Mr. Lycopodium, the stammering is at the end of the sentence, which makes it different from any other medicine.